Hi guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Kubernetes cluster on top of Azure. Specifically, we're going to use Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS, to do so, which is a managed Kubernetes cluster by Microsoft. So let's get to it. And uh, one thing you want to do, first thing you want to do is actually uh, create an account on Azure. And second thing you need to do is install Azure CLI. So this will actually uh, do a bunch of work and it will also install kubectl, which is a Kubernetes um, CLI. So on Windows, it's pretty easy. You just download MSI, run it, and you're done. Then you want to run this AZ login. Basically, it will prompt you to on a web page and you just log in with your Microsoft account and you'll be logged in in the console so the, uh, the CLI knows who you are. And then when you interact with your Azure portal, it knows who you are and where to redirect. So that's actually standard for Azure, nothing special, but you want to do it first. I'm not going to show how to do it. Now, once you start, you get in the portal. And one thing you want to do is uh, find Kubernetes. So go to all services here. You can actually search for uh, Kubernetes, right? So you have this Kubernetes services and you want to add one. So I have one created for sake of time, but uh, what you want to do is you want to add a new one. Uh, I'm on free trial. So if you don't have a resource group, you want to create a new one. You give it a name, for example, meter test, right? Give it a prefix for DNS name. Choose the Kubernetes version, very important. The region where you want your cluster to be located. So uh, as far as I know, Azure doesn't support cross region uh, Kubernetes just yet. Then you also want to select your um, task groups. And uh, from what I understand, Azure supports one uh, kind of uh, node pool. So you choose a size and uh, this actually really important that that will be your virtual machine size. So if you go to this page, um, you kind of um, can figure out which virtual machine it is needed for, for example, a meter, I recommend at least three nodes. Right, it could be uh, general purpose or uh, computer oriented. For if you're a Golang developer, for example, you tend to go for compute optimized because Go is actually quite uh, CPU heavy. Right, so pretty much uh, you select your size, you can upscale later. So let's say you want those three machines. Uh, well, I probably have, can have two. So you create the service principle, uh, configure networking, and I typically just leave everything um, as default. There's not much things you need to do. If you really want to do and configure your own networking, you can go ahead and do this in this wizard. But typically, if you're just starting out, you don't actually want to do this, you just want to leave everything as default uh, because it's easy to make a mistake and uh, you don't actually want to do that. You just want to get started and start learning. Uh, then monitoring, you can enable or disable monitoring, uh, configure some tags and, and then go click create. Right? For sake of uh, simplicity, I already created that because it takes a few minutes to do so. Right? That's pretty much it. You, Create a Kubernetes cluster by going through this wizard. Then you have this. So once it's created, you will see uh, the cluster here and um, you will see all the details, right? So if you want to upgrade it, you can upgrade through uh, this. So if you want to upgrade your master, typically you want to do it from time to time, uh, you can upgrade it through here. It's all completely automated if you can you want to add more nodes, um, you can also add this, right? 
So if you're actually scaling your application, you can add more virtual machines to your cluster. Now, another thing you want to do is uh, typically a view dashboard. So, and if you go to overview here, you actually see view Kubernetes dashboard and this pops a few steps. It's pretty nice. So again, you want to install the CLI. You just want to go through three steps, get the credentials and uh, then actually let me do it with you. So get the credentials and then start the dashboard. So that will open a browser. And so it basically what it does, it tunnels in uh, on uh, this, right? So it creates a tunnel from your machine to the Kubernetes master. And here we can see that our Kubernetes is actually running. We have a default namespace. We uh, see our uh, two nodes. I have a cluster of two nodes. I've, we have it running and pretty much everything is working. So that's about it for this video and for the next video actually we'll show you how to set up uh, an emitter broker cluster uh, with those two nodes uh, and uh, how we set up volumes and load balancers as well. So thank you very much for uh, watching this video and please subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you.